welcome viewers to the thought leader show i'm your host major sunil shetty human and computer interaction is a new age alliance that focuses on interaction between humans and computers it's all about enhancing a person's cognitive and decision making capacity by using technology and without disturbing the natural order of events well to discuss this with me joining me today is mr Avinash Punikar who's the CEO at IIT Mandi iHub and HCI Foundation who is also who will be sharing with us insights on how the Himalayan startup grand tech challenge aims to promote the use of technology in our daily daily routine as well as complex business and social decision making processes uh welcome mr punikar welcome to the show thank you very much for having me here hello everyone so sir uh, you know when you talk about uh, you know computers and human being and the interaction itself which is what you look at yeah. uh, you know share us a little bit of insight into you know what does it actually mean when you talk about humans and computer or technology interaction through computers well uh, human computer interaction so far uh, the common perception that we have is through vision and hearing that is what uh, we are interacting with our devices the third element which has got added is basically the touch or the haptic feedback now this is only not only one way feedback but this is also could be a two way feedback so this is the third perception or the third sense which comes into play the other two senses uh, which are more critical and that's where we are focusing right now are basically sense of smell and sense of taste so this is something that like as we go forward the technology is evolving where we are going to have a completely multi sensory uh, experience of interacting with computers and that is where like we are focusing on making india the global leader this multi sensory interaction with computers brain computer interface so all these technologies that is where we see the future is going to be and we want to ensure that like india becomes number one in these domains so when you talk about you know the multi dimensional interaction uh, yeah. between humans and the technology or through computer uh, where are we uh, at current at current stage both as as a country as, uh, that is india and then globally uh, from a technology application side of it well uh, when we look at like actually the two senses of uh, audio uh, and video we are uh, one of the leading ones thanks to like actually a lot of like entertainment content which is produced in the country and with like actually the sophistication in the uh, technology which is there so we are uh, probably right on the forefront in uh, hci uh, domain with audio and video elements uh, it's basically the sense of touch haptics is where we are uh, probably not as much ahead as some of the uh, other leaders around the world and uh, the fourth and fifth elements which are sense of smell and taste these are emerging research areas so right now you can't really say that like uh, one country is the absolute leader or some other country is leading something else right now all of them are experimenting doing research on these technologies and so are we and we're hoping that like in next couple of uh, years we would be right on top of it and in terms of like brain computer interface uh this is again like a very nascent area and uh, we've already started making a good headway in these technology areas and there are lots of like bright youngsters bright researchers scientists who are there for working in these domains and i'm quite sure that uh, in next 2 to 3 years we would be considered as a number one country for anything to do with multi sensory like interaction or brain computer interface uh, so that brings me to the next question which is you know you are part of uh, one of the leading uh, technology institutes iit mandi uh, and also you know you you, you are part of you are also the cto at apex uh, uh, convantage uh, covantage and president at pub, uh, pub hub uh, yeah. given your experience and exposure yeah. um, you know where do you see currently uh, you know when it comes to indian young talent where are they uh, are they at the stage where they will be able to deliver you know cutting edge technology for us uh, i mean this is i'm talking from the standpoint of you know want to know your insights into it 
as you know part of iit mandi and also your association with global organizations uh, absolutely the youngsters are right there okay i have complete faith and trust in their ability to like lead us forward uh, and uh, one of the key reasons for uh, me to come from like actually the uh, external environment into something which is related to academia is basically the understanding uh, of uh, the necessity by uh, department of science and technology to ensure that like we provide accelerated platform for our startups and youngsters in these technology areas what typically happens is most of our startups and youngsters they don't necessarily have access to the right kind of research talent which is mostly uh, lying with academic institutions or like government labs or other research labs so this is basically the objective of i hub has been to like actually put these things together and ensure that like instead of working in a bureaucratic manner the setup works in a completely corporate fashion and it's much more responsive to the requirements of innovators entrepreneurs uh, especially when they need like support in research and development so now coming to the uh, the event itself which is hst uh, you know startup grand challenge uh, tell us about this uh, event what is it all about uh, i would i would like actually let uh, saurav mittal talk more about like the overall event what i would probably uh, be talking about is the hci uh, team and part of uh, this challenge which is focused on like human computer interaction or brain computer interface what we are looking at is basically uh, uh, encouraging startups youngsters innovators researchers to start building like their organizations their ideas and convert them into products tangible products which are not restricted just to software development or like software applications mobile applications but also hardware so we we been like uh, coming across lots of like uh, young uh, startups which are working in the area of like developing specific hardware customized for brain computer interface or multi sensory inputs we want to encourage these startups and take their ideas right from like actually the idea stage all the way to product stage and commercialization stage so that is that is our uh, uh, key like actually focus in this and what we are going to do as one of the key uh, uh, approach that we have taken the most important approach is to ensure that like the intellectual property stays with innovators and creators of that ip so we are going to assist them in like publications of their uh, Uh, research papers or like they filing for their patents but ultimately they would be the owners of the ip and that is when like we are intending to give them that like lega right up in the beginning and with the kind of like research and uh, development uh, support which iit mandi and other institutions can provide we are hoping that like these youngsters would be able to build the next unicorns in the area of hci and bci from india as the institution yeah. Uh, yeah. what kind of courses or what kind of training or skills that you provide when it comes to you know human computer interaction well uh, as an institution iit mandi itself has a number of courses which are uh, geared up for like providing right inputs uh, to everyone so a lot of entrepreneurs or like startups which are chosen would be mentored by expert faculty members from iits in these areas of hci and bci so the expertise the knowledge base which is there is going to be available as mentors to all these startups who would be handheld who would be given the guidance which is required to ensure that like their idea their product succeeds uh, so when it when you talk about uh, you know human uh, computer interaction uh, as a nation as a country do we have companies or you know skills or you know mentors who, who can work with you know the next generation of uh, uh, experts who could who could uh, who can be handheld and taken you no know, who can be uh, mentored on to building the technology the future technology yes we do have some of these elements in place we do have mentors especially like uh, if you look at like researchers and faculty members uh, working uh, doing research in these areas they have been on the forefront now how do we translate like actually the theoretical or the classroom knowledge 
and get it converted into like products which are going to be commercialized so that is when like these entrepreneurs would get a lot of help the mentors are there in terms of companies we don't uh, exactly have too many companies working in these domains but there are some companies which have already been there and they've been doing some excellent work so there are a few companies working in the area of augmented reality virtual reality really at the cutting edge and not just like actually using these kind of technologies for say superficial like purposes like creating demos or uh, those kind of videos but more for like training or actual like uh, operations so there been like couple of companies which have emerged over last few years uh, what we want to do is basically make that number significantly larger so instead of like if we are looking at like about 10 companies right now we want to have like 100 companies in next one or two years which would be right on top in hci and bci areas as a institution uh, are you also exploring you know ways to collaborate with foreign institutions or companies uh, to bring these expertise uh, you know for your students and for the startup ecosystem in general yes precisely we have uh, already taken couple of steps in that direction we have uh, a couple of uh, domestic uh, mous that we have signed with uh, some of the private sector organizations also uh, academic and research organizations within the country we've also tied up with a leading organization in japan which works in similar areas and we also looking at like few more collaborations which would be coming up uh, in the middle east europe and us so definitely like we are going to ensure that like there are enough partners both from india and outside which can provide us uh, the intellectual bandwidth or the mentorship or like support which is going to be required oh that's nice that, that's nice to hear uh, so coming to you know the event what's your message to all the potential applicants out there startups aspiring entrepreneurs uh, you know who should be taking part in it what's your message for them well i would like to say that like come down for the event impress us give us your wildest ideas i am not going to be scared of like touching the most wild idea or most infeasible idea because one of the key uh, mandate that i have has is to really go for these grand challenges and go for something which is really outlandish idea or a moonshot so we are not going to be afraid of supporting moonshot uh, uh, efforts also so anyone who wants to like really come down there should not hesitate that like this idea is really far out and then it might take like couple of more years before like anyone in india can probably like accept that idea we want to hear about that idea today in this event and we want to really run with that idea so we are looking for like really impressive ideas and the talent which is there i'm quite sure that we are going to be flooded with such ideas well we we also hope that and we it's very encouraging to hear Uh, a institution like iit mandi talking about you know moonshot ideas because you know uh, it's all about finding that you know uh, people who are willing to give that shot and think outside the box and build something unique true uh, thank you very much for that sir and uh, finally uh, my startup tv is a channel for startups and enablers like iit mandi and thought leaders like you uh, what are your thoughts about our channel uh, this is something which is a very interesting uh, uh, job which is being done by the channel uh i have been like really impressed with like some of the uh, people who have been featured in like uh, all these like uh, videos and like interviews which have been there and it's really impressive this has been like one of the uh, best like actually channels or best mechanisms for the startup community to have and that's something which i uh, am hoping that like this also becomes more common one like uh, possible thing is i would definitely want to like see a lot more people from uh, tier 2 tier 3 cities and maybe vernacular backgrounds coming into play because one thing we've noticed is they are equally good if not better ideas is just that some of these people lack the ability to communicate and this prefer to stay out so i'm quite sure that like with time i would see far more of like these people also coming on your channel Thank you for an excellent job that you guys are doing, and keep it up. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your time. And yes, we have launched uh, My Startup TV Hindi 
as well and we aim to with with, with support from institutions like yours uh, we would be able to cover other major languages as well thank you sir thank you very Excellent. much for joining us thank you thank you and we look forward to hosting you on some of our panel talks as well thank you